We're talking to two gentlemen who are responsible for uh, so many hit records these days, it's impossible to count. Uh, Charlie Green and Brian Stone in that order from uh, this side to that side. When did you fellas come to California? Uh, about six years ago, Dick. Have you had a long association? We've, together, we've been friends for over 20 years now. You tried so many different things. You're now in the world of music. Are either one of you schooled musicians? No, we're not. What's your background? Um, well, up till about a year ago, we had an unblemished record of failure. And, uh, <laughs> that's about it. What did you study when you went to school, Brian? Accounting, actually. I'm a graduate accountant from NYU in New York. You find that's of any help in your work these days? Absolutely. Every if you have no uh, a school background in music, how do you know when you uh, work with someone that you're going to be successful? Uh, you feel it. It's what you like also. You know, we're not that uh, far away from being out of the teenage uh, age ourselves. And how old are you? I'm 27. How old are you, Brian? 27. Do you ever get discouraged when you go in and do something and it doesn't live up to your expectations? Uh, sometimes you feel a little bit bad, but that's life. You go on. You gotta just keep moving, always forward. How many hours a day do you fellas work? Nineteen, twenty. Are you serious? Yes. I was told that you very rarely ever eat. Is this true? Yeah, we do. We kind of got in the habit when we were starving, and uh, we only eat kind of one meal a day at night. We eat dinner, and that's about it. We drink a lot of coffee. Well, you, if you work all day and all night, what is the object of all of this? Uh, achievement. Is it money? Not really, no. Is money important? Uh, money was important to uh, give you the freedom to go ahead and achieve things. That's about all. If money is not important, then why did you two fellas buy an $18,000 limousine? We wanted it. It has good air conditioning. What will you do if all the money goes away? The same thing we always did. Start all over again. All right, let me change subjects right in the middle of the stream here. Why are young people the most important dynamic element of the population? Now, I've heard you speak my, my, speak my speech before, but I'd like to hear it from you both. Uh, I think I've said to you what I think, that the handwriting's on the wall. Kids are becoming more and more an important part of the whole population of the United States. They're becoming the major portion of the population, and what kids want uh, is what the world's going to have to do. Charlie, do you think you reflect the taste of young people, you and your partner? I hope we do. We, so far, I think we have. All right. In regard to music, I read somewhere once where you said something like, Bob Lind is a great talent. We are going to make him a great star. No, is that true or not? That's not exactly true. That has to be a misquote. Bob Lind will be a star with or without us only because of his, his talent. Uh, if we can accelerate it in any way, I, I think we you know, will. But that, right. That's it. In addition to Bob, with whom are you working these days? Well, uh, we're also managing Jackie DeShannon and the Daily Flash, and as a matter of fact, the Buffalo Springfield, who are inside right now. Well, you, the, the purpose of all this, gentlemen, is to uh, go in and watch them record. May we go to the recording uh, session? I'd love you to. All right. Uh, yes. The Buffalo Springfield inside. Charlie Green, Brian Stone, the fellows who discovered Sonny and Cher. <laughs> This is the Buffalo Springfield. Green and Stone say they'll be giant stars. It's up to you to make them such. Recording with the Buffalo Springfield.